Um, want to start out uh, twofold thanking the fans for continuing to come out and support us uh, over the Thanksgiving holiday and uh, congratulate Missouri. Uh, we knew they had a really good football team, a uh, physical football team, and and uh, they played a really good game today. And obviously we did not, uh, but congratulations to them. And they were a physical team and running backs really good. And um, we had a hard time, couldn't stop him. And uh, and uh, I'll be ready for questions. Sam, could you fill us in on? It looked like KJ looked like his left knee, and then obviously that was that was uh, Jacoby's first extended time. Just I know it was rough sledding for him against that defense. Just what you th what could you fill us in on KJ and, and what you thought of Jacoby's? Well, game? KJ uh, hyperextended the knee. I don't think that it, it's going to be bad. Bad. Uh, matter of fact, he was trying to come back, and this had another week. Gave it until halftime, and uh, I didn't want to put him. He was he was he was not going to be full speed, and uh, I didn't want to put him back out there at that point. He he said he wasn't wasn't able to go, but he certainly tried to go. Uh, Jacoby, you know he's tough. I th I thought he he uh, uh, played extremely hard, but he just didn't have any time to throw the football. I mean none, uh, nor did uh, KJ for that matter. Um, but, you know, we got beat up front, O-line. We gave up a sack by a running back. We, we, he gave up a sack on a hot, on a empty protection, Jacoby himself. So, uh, but we just never he, – he never had any time to throw the football, so it would be hard to judge his performance. But he, you could say he was tough and very gritty. As rough as that was – how could that maybe help him? Just that experience, you know, moving forward. Well, he's a comp you saw, you know, he's a competitor, and uh, so, um, and he's and he's athletic and things of that nature, and and uh, and tough. Uh, I thought he did a nice job of leading leading the team. Uh, obviously, um, uh, in the fourth quarter, he let us let us down to a couple touchdowns to a uh, nice touchdown pass. Um, but it's really hard to judge him other than. Uh, his character and his toughness to continue to get up and, and play. Yeah, Coach, with uh, Hunter giving you his backing for next year and just generating, trying to generate some momentum going into the offseason, with this performance, how, how do you generate that um, going into the offseason? I don't know. Somebody else. Coach, I think he must have uh, had a, another so solid day, but I think he only had two carries in the first half. Would you like to get him more involved early on? Yeah, I thought we we would. The problem is when you have when you have reads, when you have um, um, quarterback run to run, and when we called a, a, a lot of plays to him, but basically what they were doing, they were knifing the end and and running the willy out, which is a normal thing for our uh, for. Um, uh, any defense, um, and so Jacoby was seeing that read taken away from him. So he was, and KJ, and was pulling the ball. So um, we did have runs called for him. Uh, just they were taken away with the read. I think the CBS broadcast mentioned that you could have an OC as as soon as next week. Is that right? And do you have a timeline on when you might like to have an OC hired? Well, I hope so because the portal comes open, you know, on Friday. And uh, uh, next Friday, so and you know, obviously with the kids that we have that are committed, I think the the you want to be right, but you also want to be uh, as fast as you possibly can. You know, you would like to get some guys in here maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, so they could talk to the kids uh, before uh, we need to go out on the road. But I don't know if that's possible or not. But obviously, we've been in conversations with several several different people. Speaking of speed, do you expect to have like exit interviews like pretty quick after this? Yeah, uh, Trey, we're going to have um, um, uh, Monday. We're going to start with those. Um, obviously, we have a staff, uh, uh, team meeting at 4 o'clock on Monday. Um, but we're going to start talking about with the guys that are plus one that have some type of, of – uh, uh, NFL ranking, and we'll go through there first with those guys. You know, starting with the, the Florida game, it's been a difficult close for the defense. I mean, what has has anything we you've talked about tackling, but anything else specifically no, changed? You think? You know, we we've, we've made some mental mental errors. I mean, we cut the tight end loose twice 
and uh, uh, you know, third and nine. And so we, I don't think we've added and things of that nature, but since, and, 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 and Florida, you know, scored 36, I think too, you know, so um, uh, it was a tackling issue. I think more today, you know, they were cracking uh, uh, with the uh, wide receiver and we, we, our replace guy, we know whether it be the corner or whether it be the safety, we just weren't getting there. And they were getting right outside on the edge, and we weren't handling the edge at defensive end, and and they were cracking inside down on first force, and and our corners were going to have to make plays or our safeties, and we never, you know, we did the second half, the second half, but really more in the second half, we were getting penetration uh, in there to the beginning of the second half, but we didn't give our defense any chance then because, you know, we t had two or three turnovers, bam, 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 in a row, and. Uh, they came out and fought, but uh, you know you can't can't beat anybody with five turnovers, and and uh, that's what happened there. You, you've spoken about wanting the fight from your team. I'm guessing a little too much fight there in the second quarter, and also wondering if you could share maybe you got the whole team together after the altercation. What the message was uh, after the well, scuffle? Just we're not coming off the bench. You know that's the main thing. If you just keep the guys on the field. Uh, the officials can handle all that kind of stuff, but coming off the sideline or having problems when they get on the sideline. You know, obviously uh, the quarterback was hit late, out of bounds, and then uh, their their offensive line came in to our bench, and you know, uh, and then we retaliated, and and uh, we can't have that. But um, no, then it went on to the field. I'm glad. I think we got it stopped fairly quick. You know, and all those things both. Uh, Eli and myself and and our people, I felt like got it stopped pretty quick. But uh, you know, it just as rivalry, it escalated into um, on our sideline. I think they had some problems over on theirs as well. Hey Sam, so it was twenty to nothing at halftime. What were you thinking then? Still in the game? Yeah, we, <laughs> you know, we got the ball back. You know, but you know, we had to do something offensively. I don't. I mean, we had I think four first downs in the first half and. One of them was a was a fumble, you know. After we got 20, 25 yards, whatever it may be, um, we were thinking about moving the pocket, uh, continuing to do our reads, but um, not necessarily uh, same side, you know, same side read. Maybe uh, a way read running back to the other side. In other words, same side reads are here, and they were running the little willy. Willie stun on us, and we were trying to get away from it, go towards the open end side, and then maybe go back to the tight end side because we felt like that would uh, give us a better chance uh, to either whenever to eat up to the Willie with the tackle or pull it and go back to the other side. And that was maybe, maybe the major adjustment there. And then we were talking about trying to move the pocket. You know, but then we moved the pocket, and the guy came right through, the, right through, and and uh, hit Jacoby, and the ball went up in the air, and we we were rolling, uh, which is about as simple as protection as we have. Would you be inclined to want to keep your entire defensive staff, most of your defensive staff? You know, those questions are, uh, you know, hard to answer. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, I'd like to uh, have a little bit more time to evaluate everybody, but. Um, those are all – those are hard to answer at this point. You know, we, have to, we just got our butt kicked, you know, and, and uh, I need to take some time to figure out exactly what we need to do um, over the entire – and over the entire staff. Gotcha. How, how disappointing were all the hits on the quarterback? Because they, they got a few tonight. Well, I think we went into the game with over 40 sacks, you know, so – um, that's our – we've got to shore up a lot of things. That's that's our main thing we've got to get fixed. And uh, uh, very disappointing because we're just not – we're not giving – you know, we're not getting our wide receivers a chance to, you know, get open and catch the ball. And we're sure, certainly not giving our quarterback those opportunities either. So, uh, you know, we went to empty against Florida and it worked. And it worked because – in all honesty, I don't think they'd ever seen it, and they weren't ready for it. And then all these other teams have become ready for it. And uh, we've done a decent job last week against FIU, but 
Uh, you know, certainly uh, this week we did not. Sam, when you're talking about an offensive offensive coordinator, what kind of offense are you want? Are you wanting a tempo, a pro style? I mean, what 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 are you thinking about for next year on offense? To well, kind of I think you have to find the fit, but you know, you certainly you certainly want a guy that brings something special to to the university, um, whether that be um, you know what KB did in the past, uh, whether that be a combination of what Kendall did and and some pro style stuff, you know. I think we need a guy that really wants to be here and and understands Arkansas, and uh, but the number one thing is we need somebody that understands how to run the football, and uh, because we have to run the football, in my opinion, to win. And of all the problems that we've had this year, in all honesty, it all stemmed a bunch of it because we can't run the football, and uh, so. Uh, that that would be my number one thing is sitting down and vision with a man that knows how to to uh, run the football. Coach Kenny gave it a great shot. Did a great about job. The, yeah, it's, do you think he would be willing to stay as a wide receiver coach? After well, again, and and I appreciate the question, but I I just haven't had time to talk with Kenny. I've obviously interviewed him for the offensive coordinator job and those things, but. Um, uh, I'm 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 really pleased with what he did as the offensive coordinator. I mean, um, went going and beating Florida and then scoring 44. I think defense scored some 37 last week, and and uh, I'm really grateful to him because he he worked his butt off and 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 did as good a job as he possibly could do, and I'm I'm thankful for him. Did your offensive line issues fixed, Sam? Well, you got to go, you know, you got to go in the portal. And, you know, I look back at, at Auburn coming in here and, and I think I think four of their five was from the portal. And then I think seven of their – eight of their – let's see, seven of their top eight players, old linemen, were transfers. Um, there's an opportunity to do that. And we've got to get better with the ones that we have here as well. Uh, but you don't have to be a football coach. You can just be that. No, we need help, and uh, so we've got to go address that. And that will be our number one uh, place to address because without that, you really can't have a lot of success offensively. And with that, you can have uh, a whole bunch of success. Well, we got to get that. We got to get it fixed, and that's nothing negative about the kids we have. We just got to get that one fixed. I think everybody knows that. You mentioned NIL uh, in the last press conference. Yeah. Feeling a lot better about it. I was wondering if you could expand any more on that. Uh, well, no, on. I can't, and I wish I could. Uh, I can't, but I, I do feel uh, much better about it. I think we're going to be very competitive there, and and uh, um, I'm really excited about that. Hell, nobody wants to set up here like this. Nobody does. But uh, I'm the head coach. I, I'm supposed to set up here when the good and bad. But I think there is a, a big chance for us to, to change where we're at at four and eight. And uh, I'm excited to have the opportunity to do it. But, but uh, um, I am excited about our NIL uh, situation. You might not have phrased it right at the beginning, but I was just kind of asking about that in terms of the momentum with the program. Is it a big splash hire, OC? Is it landing some big studs in yeah, the man. transfer portal? What what creates the momentum from to, to turn this program? Well, I think the first thing is you got to go find an offensive coordinator, you know, uh, one that wants to be here, one that, uh, you know, it would be fun if the guy understood the state, you know, and understood the SEC and all those type things. I will say this, that uh, Arkansas is, is uh, uh, very well respected by some of the folks that I've been able to talk to. And I feel very, very good that, that we'll get an offensive coordinator that wants to be, wants to be here and wants to um, uh, lead, help lead our program uh, to a lot of, lot of great things. Um, but I – were you talking about the NIL again? No, what were you saying? Just, just the coordinator. Just that that we need to get in pretty quick. We need to get that. Oh, you're talking about uh, 
Yeah. Well, what you got to do is you got to get the right coordinator that that uh, that is going to help us win, and then we've got to start. To be honest with you, Trey. If we just started going, okay, this guy committed, this guy committed, this guy committed. You know what I mean? Just change instead of just nobody commits. Where's our coordinator? All that stuff. Obviously, that's going to fester. Uh, but if we can get a coordinator that uh, we believe can we can score points and then go get some starting, honestly, with soaring up the offensive line, uh, I think we can get momentum back. You know, we obviously have been invited to three of three bowl games in the last four years. This one right here is a disappointing year. Uh, more so, to be honest with you, that there was way, way higher optimism about this year than what it ended up being. And uh, uh, we got to change it. We got to fix it. And uh, But I think you asked me before, too, there's no doubt in my mind I'm the guy that can change it especially with the opportunities that we've been afforded. KJ had a social media post today that said like one last time that made it the sense that this is it for him. Did, do you have that sense that he will he won't be back? I don't know. Um, I really don't. I don't know. Um, we haven't sat down and spoke about it. Um, I never do until Monday with the guys so in all honesty if he if he put that out there that probably means that he's had all the college or all the Arkansas that he, that he wants I I just haven't talked to him about it yeah, we got that. Sam uh, Jaheim Thomas he led you in tackles this year I think the last two games his yeah. playing time kind of dwelled you kind of reveal kind of what, what's going on well, there uh, Jaheim's done a nice job he had you know obviously had some tackling injury uh, uh, tackling problems, things of that nature, not, not like anybody else. But to be perfectly honest with you, I think Greer just just uh, played a little bit better when he was in there, and uh, he played better in practice when he was there. But Jaheim's got a, a strong future here, but um, uh, it wasn't injuries or anything like that. It was just, I think, Greer, we felt like Greer was playing a little bit better. And following up on Tom's question, if this is KJ's last game, just how disappointing is it that it, 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 he goes out with a game like this and, you know, with the injury and, and that kind of thing? I imagine it's disappointing. I got a hundred of them in there is disappointed too as well. But I imagine it's disappointing. But KJ's had so many great moments here, you know. Uh, if he's if he dwells one second on, on a game here that he got hurt on, you know, uh, that's not his legacy at all, and, and I'm sure he's disappointed that he wasn't able to play the entire game and help his team out. But he's he's been so valuable to me, our program, over the last four years, including the first year when he went up to Missouri and, and played a really nice game. And one last one. Do you, how confident are you that you'll be able to keep this recruiting class that you have together uh, these last few weeks well, to the early signing period? I'm very period? confident. Um, 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 I'm very confident. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.
I mean, just overall thoughts on ending it up this way, Hudson. Um, <clears throat> it's obviously disappointing. Uh, you know, we want to send the seniors off right. Um, but Missouri had a great game plan. They they fought really hard and and they played great. Hudson, uh, what did you do to your hand? Did it look okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be good. I kind of like got it smashed on a in between helmets, so um, we'll see. Josh, that was obviously the first extended playing time Jacoby got. What what was he like in the huddle? How'd you think he handled everything? I'm definitely with maturity and poise. He he came in um, in an unfortunate situation, and he handled himself very well and, and did his best he could to lead us. Yeah. What did he do? I know it was tough sledding. Missouri's got a great defense. What did he do that impressed you? Um, just he kept us motivated on the sideline. He always, after every drive, he'd come over and we'd talk through um, pretty much every play with him, just what we were seeing versus what he was seeing and how we could execute better in the next drive. And it made for both you guys, how tough was it to see KJ get hurt like that? And if this is his last game here, you know, to be, you know, to not really get to hardly play. It's disappointing to see any of our teammates get hurt, um, knowing how much effort and and how much they desire to play this game. Um, for anything to prevent them from doing that definitely hurts us as a team. Yeah, same. It's just it's sad to see. Um, he was. He's our leader, and so um, definitely sad to see, but he'll, he'll bounce back. Josh, projecting the next year, Sam said getting some O-linemen help is one of the big priorities in the offseason. Can you maybe talk about how next year projects for you guys? Yeah, I mean, after a disappointing year like this, we have to, we have to change something. We have to do better. Um, I mean, that's the short answer. We, if we want to have any success next year, it starts with the offensive line. Um, we didn't put – as an offensive line this year, we didn't put our offense in good situations to be successful, and that put a lot of stress on our defense and special teams. Um, so definitely something needs to change, and, and we need to take it upon ourselves to get better every day this offseason so that next year we can have success. Following up on that, HUD, um, so it's 20 to nothing at halftime, but then they get the strip sack, touchdown, fumble, fumble kickoff, touchdown. How tough was that to fight through after it was within range at halftime? Yeah, um, it's tough anytime. You get put in that situation, but um, when we go out there, I mean, it doesn't matter where the where the ball gets placed. We got to be able to fight and and uh, try to get the ball back for our offense. And so, um, just got to have that mindset going in, into every drive. Hudson, um, the defense had such a good start to the season, and then the last four games just hasn't quite kind of matched. What is any what from your vantage point maybe changed with the defense and kind of led to the struggles to kind of close the season? Um, I don't know if anything changed. I think um, we just got to come out every game and, and fight hard, and and uh, we're not going to let the last couple games take away what, what we did during the season. Hudson, I know that that fight mainly involved the linemen, the, what the frock, Frank, or whatever you want to call it, that broke out in the second quarter. Were you on the field then? And if so, what was your vantage point? Just kind of what you were you thinking Yeah, about I was kind of – I was guarding somebody, and then I turned around, and there was a big brawl, I think. It just rivalry game. It got chippy. We kind of we hit their quarterback out of bounds, and so they they took it um took the next play and and uh, got one of our guys. So I think it was just chippy rivalry game. Tough tough guys out there. Well, you actually fa faced Jacoby in practice a lot. Just wonder what your thoughts were. And I don't know if you got to watch much. You maybe were talking to coaches or whatever. But if you had any thoughts on how he played today, and maybe even though it was a rough game, how that could help him moving forward. Yeah, I thought I thought he played great in the. Uh, fourth quarter, um, he he was mature. He came out, uh, stepped up, and so I think going to next year, I mean, with him or whoever, um, I think he's gonna gonna bring that same offense. That's, he's got that maturity. He's old enough, um, and he knows what he's doing. You guys played really well on the road this year. You didn't win some games. You did beat Florida, but you didn't win the game. But what happened in Fayetteville? What do you think happened here? Because the Mississippi State, Auburn, mm -hmm. and today, you know, it just it seemed like it should be the other way around, but <laughs> very competitive against some great teams on the road. Uh, I'm not quite sure, um, to be honest with you. Um, that's something that we need to figure out this offseason so we can fix it for next year um, because we have some tough home opponents next year that we need to be on our A game um, basically for every week. Hudson, I know earlier in the week you said you were focused on the Missouri game, but you do have that extra year. Just what's the timeline look like for that? What's what goes into that decision process? Um. I'm not really sure. I'm going to kind of sit on this game for a while and then 
um, go back with my family and, and talk with them and see what's what's best for, for me going forward. Josh, you've been talking about next year. So, I mean, are, mm -hmm. are you planning on coming back next year? Have you made that decision? I mean, that's the that's the plan as of now. Yeah, Pippen told us just a few minutes ago he's the man to get this program turned around. Y'all's thoughts from the locker room about him and his leadership? He is 100% the man to get this job done. Um, I mean, he's one of the main reasons I came here. Um, playing for a, a head coach that was also an offensive line coach is something special, in my opinion, um, as an offensive lineman. But just who he is as a person, he cares deeply for the players, and that's something that you don't really see in the college football world today. And so, I mean, I think, I think every player in that locker room loves playing for Coach Pittman and, and wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I'm yeah, I mean, it's the same way. I mean, I don't think anybody would rather have a different coach. He loves the players, the program, and the state. And so, I mean, he bleeds Arkansas. Josh, you know, Sam was saying probably a pretty quick timeline on getting an offensive coordinator in here with, you know, guys being able to go in the portal starting Friday. Mm -hmm. As an offensive player, I guess how excited or anxious or whatever <laughs> are you to see about the offensive coordinator hire and how, how important do you think that is for you guys? Um, obviously, it's a it's a big job, so it's important. Um, but in my college career, I've played for three, four different offensive coordinators. So um, it's something I'm used to, just changing coordinators. So I'm excited to see the new take on things and the new the new lingo we're going to use and, and what plays we're going to run. So it's definitely exciting. And then Missouri's been so they're pretty salty on defense last year, and then this year, obviously. But what made them tough today on, on defense? I would say they just played really sound defense. Um, everyone played their responsibilities and played it well. Um, they used their hands extremely well, and that, that gives them the opportunity to shed blocks and make plays. Um, they definitely had us figured out in the first half, and we weren't able to get something going. And, uh, that's just something we need to work on and, and get better at. Have a good day. I appreciate it. Thank you.